you should always enable firewall of this control panel to do that click on this firewall button and then click on this enable firewall perfect let's go back and now firewall is enabled now let's log out to this control panel login with root again you should always change ssh port for your server which is uh, 22 is by default it's uh, best practice to just change this to something else to do that click on this link and uncomment this line by removing this hash symbol and then type the port you want to change so one double one double two this is just this is just random port you can type anything here okay save it After changing SSH port, you have to open new port in firewall. To do that, click on this firewall and uh, then click on this configure button and then scroll down. And here you can see that we have this. Uh, to to port now just add your new port here just like this let's save this go back to our firewall and restart this firewall now our new port is also open in this firewall let's uh, restart this ssh service and uh, let's try to log in to this server again now if we try to connect to this server using default port 22 port it will not work let's try this so connection fused now it's not working because now we are using a 1122 port for our server one one two two yes and here we need to type root now let's type password 